Hey everybody, I've brought you with me to Mimosa Market. We've been here before and this is such a fun shop. They've got home decor, hand-painted furniture, vintage and antique items, and so much more. And they've also got a coffee shop. It's called Cool Beans and they carry ice creams and pastries and they have a great boho selection of clothing. So I can't wait. Here we go. And they've got tons of Christmas decor, and this is one of those tours you got to make two or three laps just to kind of take everything in. And this wine bar is just an example of the fancy furniture they've got here, and every time I come they have something different. Let's see, $10, I love the fabric Christmas trees. And they've got the most unique Christmas stocking holders. Let's see, this one's $19. That'd be pretty to add some greenery in it. And y'all know I love a topiary. Oh, and they have some of the most dreamy Christmas ornaments. And some of these are actually antique or vintage ornaments. Oh, there's a candy ornament, $4. And Santa. I want y'all to let me know below, what ornaments do you put on your Christmas tree? Oh, that angel's pretty. Let's see. That says vintage, $9. Oh, here's Santa's sleigh, $24. And they have some of the cutest dish towels here. Let's see, this one says, holiday hugs and mistletoe kisses. And I liked this just because it's a little bit different, a different take on a wreath. And this pillow looks brand new, it's only $12. And if you're looking for something unique or different, definitely check out my Mesa Market. They've got this larger wreath for $29. Oh, and you know I love the snowman. This one's $9. Oh, and this piece looks vintage. $16. Oh, and yes, they've got the farmhouse vibe here too. Here's some antique metal ice skates, $24. And here's a basket with a porcelain handle for $11. And I'm gonna try to be quiet and just let y'all browse. I want y'all just to immerse yourself in this fun shopping experience. I'll be here and I might jump in every now and again, but I want you to enjoy this.
Oh, and look at this little figurine. Let's see. From the 1950s, six dollars. This is actually a Victorian hair receiver. They've got it here for $14. And apparently the ladies back in the day would brush their hair, clean out their combs, clean out their brushes, and store their hair in these containers. And I love this sign. It says encouragement. You may not know it, but whatever you do, there are people cheering you on. Maybe you've met them and maybe they've yet to find you, but they're all there supporting you regardless of whether you win or lose. And y'all, it just keeps going here. I love Mimosa Market. I hope y'all are close enough to be able to check them out. I'll list their address in the description box below. Oh, look at these handmade throws. Oh, I think this one might be my favorite. Oh, look at those colors. And talk about unique fonts. Here's a mid-century paper mache candle holder. This was my favorite sign. It says kindness. There is in fact a superpower that everyone holds and kindness is what we call it. Whether it takes a bit of effort or just comes naturally, as long as you express it any way you can, that is all it takes to save someone's day. Oh, and I had to show you all this. So it's a golden pheasant print. She's got it here for $69. I love those vibrant colors. And I saw where one online went for several hundred dollars. And the owner, Paula, told me that she actually owned this piece. I think she said it's from the early 1900s. I cannot believe it's in such good condition. And she's got some Madame Alexander dolls. This one just looks so dreamy. Looks like she's going to the ball. Oh, there's another one going to the ball. Oh, and a little astronaut. Oh, and here's a large pottery ball. I was drawn to the dragonflies on it. And these are vintage salt and pepper shakers, $12.
Here's another mid-century figurine for $9. And here's some more of her Christmas stocking holders. These are $8, and I think you could put a little battery-operated LED tea light in the back. I think this would be a pretty tree topper. So it's a metal gold angel with lights. Oh, and here's a fancy vintage bottle with the lid. And these tabletop Christmas trees were part of my favorite fonts. Oh, and she's got a cuckoo clock here. And my husband was born in Germany, and he has fond memories of a little cuckoo clock his family had when he was a kid. He actually grabbed the cuckoo when it <laughs> came out of the clock. And she's got a 1940s cupie doll. Shout out to my hubby, you make me better. And this just made me laugh. Caution, free range children. <laughs> This was my favorite tea towel here. It's only $7. It says dessert is the best time of day. I totally agree. And who remembers sitting in a chair like this? This took me back to the 1970s. Another great sign. I trust the next chapter because I know the author. Oh, and let's see. Here's a vintage Campbell soup tin. Mm -mm, good. <laughs> and this was another favorite find. It's an antique pickle server. Oh, wouldn't that make your table so, so fancy? And the little tongs to go with it. And here's a brand new Advent Owl calendar for Y'all know we're going to be back at those restores again soon, but I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. Please just give me a thumbs up, subscribe, spread the word so our channel can keep growing. Here's a wrought iron bistro table with two chairs. She's got it here for less than $300. Oh, look at that fabric. I think that's the fanciest bistro table I think I've ever seen. And I love the inspiration on how she's just set this table. It's so pretty. I love the layers, the textures, the colors. I want to thank everybody for being so nice. And this sign says it all. I'm still wearing that smile you gave me. Thanks a bunch. With a smile. She is so sweet, and that's mom before her perm. And yes, I took y'all with me to the beauty shop, so you're gonna see that coming up. Oh, here's a cute little Christmas face. Oh, 
and I had to show you all these plates. I didn't see a price on them, but I really love that color combination. And these are Melame plates. And they've got new and vintage clothing here at Mimosa Market. And I gotta tell y'all, if that dress would have fit me, I would have taken that home. I love, love, love everything about that. And now we're going back into their cool beans section. Like I said, they've got ice creams and coffees and pastries, and they've got tons of beautiful boho designed clothing. Oh, there's a brand new dress. And let me see, I think these are actually skirts. I think that'd be pretty with a white shirt. Oh, and look at this one, let's see. Do y'all like this kind of clothing? I, you know, I kind of like it, I like that. I like the 60s look, that one's on sale for $18. And that's a longer dress. Oh, and I love the seating area here at Cool Beans. It's kind of got that retro mod vibe. And this is me all day long. Even when it's cloudy, I will believe in the sun. And just to let y'all know, if you've not seen this on my video before, this store has a prayer box. You come in, you write your prayer down, and someone comes in, they pray over it, and they put it on their prayer tree at the register. Oh, and let's see. Here's another country-themed tea towel. Oh, love, love, love the rooster. And here's a hand-painted tea cart. I was really drawn to that green color. And mom wanted me to ask y'all, are you gonna be on the naughty or the nice list this year? You'll have to let me know below. Mom, what are you doing? I'm getting me a perm. Chad's giving me a perm and a hat. Oh, it's rolled up so tight. <laughs> And to be the doll, I don't have to sit under the dryer. So, Mom, what do you think so far? I think I'm supposed to have curls. Lots you have, and lots, of you curls. have lots of curls. <laughs> Mom, what did you say that your hair looked like? My hair looks like a little poodle. <laughs> I love it. All you have to do is just brush it and let it go. Just run your fingers through that. And it looks so pretty. I think it does look good. Real stylish. She is stylish. I just love that girl. And I want to end with this sign I found. It says, live your best life. And I encourage y'all to do that. Whatever that means in your world, I want you to go out and live your best life. Thank you so much for coming with me. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.